Good evening. Tonight we're going to start with our fraction unit, Lesson 9. I can use the area model and division to show the equivalence of two fractions. So we have been used to showing equivalent fractions by using multiplication. For example, let's say show a half equals one half times three times three, which gives us three six. But now we're going to show the other way, and we're going to start this way. Three six were given, and to kind of compose that with using division, we would do three six divide the top and the bottom by three, because whatever you do to the top, you have to do the bottom. Whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do the top, which gives us one half. So these are two different ways of finding equivalent fractions. And another thing I want to point out that using um, division, we also can find something that we have to do in, pro in math called reducing, simplifying in lowest terms. So sometimes if you give an answer such as 3, 6, the directions might ask you to make sure that you simplify or put your uh, fraction in lowest terms or reduce them. And then that's how you would do it. You would reduce it by using division. So let's get started. In our first example, it says compose the shaded fraction into larger fractional units. Express the equivalent fractions in the numbered sentence using division. So here we have an area model, and it's broken up into fourths, and that's what we have here, the fourths. But two are shaded in, which shows us two fourths. Now if we're going to be showing division, we want to be able to use this model a different way. And we over here we see one section, and then we see it a second section here. So it's broken up into two separate parts. So therefore, we are going to make a division sentence here. Two-fourths divided by two. Well, let's actually write this down here. Two-fourths divided by two gives us one in the numerator and two in the denominator, which clearly shows a half. Isn't this section a half and this one a half? So two-fourths divided by two equals a half. And there is how we are composing this fraction into a larger fractional unit, because this is actually a larger fractional unit because these pieces right here are bigger than if we cut it up into two-fourths. Even though they're equivalent, one-fourth is a bigger piece than, say, two-fourths. In our next example, we have, we have a area model that's broken up into eights, eight pieces, and four is shaded in to represent four eighths. But if we were going to compose this in back into, you know, going into a larger fractional unit, let's say we have this right here. We have this section, and we have this section right here. And in each one of these sections, you will notice that there are one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four pieces. So I am going to divide the top and the bottom to show my composing. Divide the top and the bottom by four eighths, which will give us one half. So here is how I'm going to compose this area model using division. Okay, in our next example, we have an area model that is cut up into 12s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, which represents the denominator, and 2 are shaded in, which is our numerator. Now we want to come take this and we want to show an area model to making a bigger fractional unit. And how we're going to do that is we're going to use division. So over here we've got 1, We've got two, we've got three, four, five, six. All right. But within those six sections, we have one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 
one, two, one, two, two separate pieces. So what we are going to do is we are going to divide by two to bring it down to a to bring it to a bigger fractional unit. So my to compose this would be two twelfths divided by two, which would give us one six. Because if you see that we are now see how this becomes one, two, three, four, five, six? Look at that. We've got one six because two are in each one of these sections. In our next example, we have an area model that has been broken up into tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That demonstrates our denominator of ten. And two is in the numerator because two parts are shaded in. We want to take two tenths and we want to create a larger fractional unit using this area model and then we're going to compose it using division we are seeing here let me change my pen we've got one two three four five and in those five sections we have one two one two one two one, two, one, two, two pieces in each of those five sections. So what we're going to do is we are going to divide by two to get one in the numerator and five in the denominator. And there's our division number sentence to show a large frac larger fractional unit. In our next example, we're going to show four eighths and then compose the fractions using division. So let's first make this up into um, eights. And we're going to create the, make this, set this up in eight parts. So here is eight. We created eight. We split this area model up into eights. And now I'm going to color in four. And this is going to represent four eights. But I want to create a new larger fractional unit using this area model and then compose it back. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to see the different sections. So if you see over here, this has been split up in half right here. There's a section and there's a section. And in each section, how many do we have? Well, we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There are four pieces cut up in each one of those sections. So, which means that we're going to divide the top and the bottom by four. So if we compose the fraction using division, four eighths divided by four, dividing the top and the bottom by four, we get one half, which shows here's a half and here's a half. In our next example, it's asking to show six twelfths and then compose the fractions to create a larger unit fraction and we're going to compose it using division. Okay, so I just cut up this area model into six, I'm, I'm sorry, into twelves and we are, they're asking us to color in six. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this represents six twelves. But we have to compose the fraction using division to create a larger fractional unit. So if we notice over here, we're kind of cutting this into half. This is a half and this is a half. And inside each one of those halves, we have got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So each side, in, in each side of those half sections, we have six. So now that's when we are going to divide by six. The top and the bottom, we're going to divide by six. To show a division sentence, six twelfths divided by six equals one half, which clearly shows when we are splitting this up, we have made a half. One here is a half, and then over here is a half. 
Okay, guys, it's now your time to try these kind of problems. Be the best version of you. So do the best that you can. First one, show three twelfths in the area model, and then compose the fraction using division by creating a larger fractional unit. I want to see your area models tomorrow and choose the correct division sentence. The next one, show six eighths in the area model, compose the fraction using division. You're going to create a new larger fractional unit and I want to see your area models tomorrow and I want to see and choose the, the correct division sentence that matches your new larger fractional unit. Your greatness is not what you have, it's what you give. Have a wonderful night, guys.